Cardano and Koti are getting ready for a big move in the next seven days as a new stablecoin is coming to the Cardano ecosystem. Jed is the new algorithmic stablecoin set to release by the end of this month and bring a lot of new users to Cardano. Now you might be wondering why we need a new algorithmic stablecoin after the Terra UST stablecoin so massively failed last year, so let's get into it. Jet is a promising project that could become a leader in its field. According to some, Jet is currently the most advanced cryptocurrency in the crypto space as it ensures price stability through formal verification. The addition of Jed to the Cardano blockchain is expected to significantly improve the transaction settlement process. This stablecoin is run transparently through the blockchain where anyone can verify what is happening. First off, what is Koti and why has it rallied 75% since the beginning of this year? Koti is the company behind Jed and stands for Currency of the Internet. It's a payment solution that provides high transaction throughput with low transaction costs. Koti enables merchants to accept payments quickly and at an affordable rate directly through merchant-facing tools without relying on financial intermediaries. To solve the problem of scalability, Koti uses DAG. Cody's DAG is called the cluster, with each transaction represented by a trust score. Adding a token transaction to Cody's ledger requires linking it to two prior transactions with the same trust score threshold. The trust score correlates with the confirmation time of the transaction, and users with a high trust score get faster confirmation and more transaction throughput. Cody uses a proof of trust algorithm, which combines the proof of work and trust chain algorithms to provide a practical, energy efficient alternative. The JED protocol is mathematically verifiable and does not require a bank like some other stablecoins. Due to the JED algorithmic stablecoin contract, a smart contract is responsible for buying and selling JED into the market to maintain a stable value. Smart contracts ensure price stabilization that thereby making the coin useful for DeFi. Thus, a smart contract will automatically issue more coins as the price increases, and the contract buys more if the price falls. Shen is a reserve token with a unique mechanism that will maintain the algorithmic peg of JED while providing an incentive for Shen token holders in the long term. By buying and selling Shen, users are able to maintain the peg of JED to USD while earning a share of transaction fees in the reserve pool. JED utilizes this reserve to charge and collect base fees, which will be pooled for transactions facilitated by the stablecoin. Shen holders then get a share of this transaction pool as an incentive for their participation in maintaining the stablecoin peg ratio. Jed's algorithm is based on a collateral ratio in the range of 400-800% for Jed and Shen. Ada price fluctuations are offset by Shen, covering shortfalls and guaranteeing the collateralization rate. The Ada reserve pool is not managed by the market makers, but by users who mint the Shen reserve coin and add Ada to the pool. This provides a decentralized aspect to the Jed mechanism, and Shen holders are incentivized to provide liquidity through fees. As Jed can be over collateralized up to 8x, the risk of Jed being under peg decreases. This means that for every one Jed minted, there are three to seven dollars worth of ADA in the reserve pool. If the ratio falls below 400%, users will not be able to mint Jed and Shen holders won't be able to burn their Shen. So in the event of a market dip, there's a security blanket for Jed holders that ensures its sustainability. The minting of new Shen is also supervised in order to maintain and ensure there is always enough ADA in the pool to provide a dollar equivalent value to the Jed when burning it. It is of course natural to be wary of any algorithmic stablecoin following the implosion of Luna and UST last year. That crash impacted the whole market, causing an estimated loss of 300 billion and forcing South Korean founder Do Kwon into hiding. But it also must be clarified that not all algorithmic stablecoins are the same. Unlike UST, which had a fatal symbiotic relationship with its sister token Luna, and that holders could swap one UST for one dollar of Luna, Jed can prevent a similar death spiral by blocking the burning and minting of coins. The death spiral happens when there's no longer enough money in the reserve to pay out every stablecoin. The moment Luna's market cap dipped below UST's market cap, it was over for Terra. The same thing would happen to Jed if the reserve value falls below the value of all stablecoins issued. But in Jed's case, if the reserve dips below a 400% ratio, the protocol will stop issuing JED. JED's approach is much more secure with this 400% over collateralization. UST was only ever as safe as investors' faith in Luna, an asset whose reputation depended on the integrity of UST. And when demand for UST slumped, the value of both currencies dropped as investors ran towards the exits. Cardano's new stablecoin, which has been in the works for over a year, is in a much different position altogether. The smart contract program to maintain the JED system has enough reserves to buy back all stablecoins in circulation for one USD worth of the backing asset, thus maintaining the dollar peg with plenty of money left over. While Luna and UST had a precarious circular dependency, Jed is backed by a sizable reserve of an independent asset, namely ADA, with their own inherent utility. The native token of the Cardano blockchain is used by developers to power smart contracts, by staking pool operators, by cryptocurrency investors, and others. It's a long-established top 10 crypto by market cap, and Cardano also has a max supply, unlike Luna. In the case where Jed's reserve value, which is ADA, 
falls below the value of the issued stablecoins, Jed would depeg, but there wouldn't be a death spiral because there's no reason for people to sell ADA if Jed depegs. So Jed would just depeg until either ADA goes up or people fill up the reserves by buying Shen, which would be really cheap in that scenario. Jed can only go to zero if ADA goes to zero, and ADA will probably not go to zero because it has a maximum supply. Jed's market cap can also never be bigger than ADA's market cap, and although it's very unlikely Cardano will go to zero, anything is possible, but way less possible than Luna going to zero. The other key difference between Jed and US are the respective revenue models. In the case of UST, holders were incentivized to encourage projects like Anchor, which artificially kept stablecoins out of circulation while promising future yield. Holders of Jed's reserve coin, Shen, meanwhile, earn through mint and burn fees and thus have an incentive to encourage stablecoins to remain in circulation and to be burned and minted frequently via the contract. Cody has confirmed that developers are on track to launch the stablecoin in January. In addition, the Cardano stablecoin issuer has disclosed that developers are working to enable Jed staking at launch as an extra incentive to the holders of Shen. Jed's reserve currency. The team is also enhancing internal monitoring tools and integrating elliptic services to ensure that Jed is regulatory compliant. The Cardano network will also collect all fees in Jed after launch, and users will be able to use it to pay for things like NFTs thanks to a partnership established by Coty. So that's why Coty has been rallying this month, and Cardano is getting ready for a big launch this week with the Jed stablecoin bringing more money to the Cardano network, which will surely increase usage across other dApps as well. If you guys are new here, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.